linear equations video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to change from any form of a linear equation to another form. That way, you can always change to the form that's the most convenient for you. Here we have a standard form equation, and I want to change it to slope-intercept form. So we're going to solve for y. I'm going to move that 3x to the other side using subtraction. So I've got negative 2y. I want to write the negative 3x first so that it looks a little bit more like how slope-intercept form ends up. There we go. And now just divide everything by that negative 2 to get y by itself. That becomes positive because I've got a negative over a negative, and this is negative 6. There's my slope-intercept form. Here's point-slope form, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to change it to slope-intercept form by solving for y. Let's start by distributing the 2. I get 2x plus 2. Now I can add 5 to both sides. So y equals 2x plus 7, and that is slope-intercept form. Now I've got slope-intercept form, but I'm going to change it to standard form. Remember that in standard form, we like the x and the y to be on the same side of the equals. a and b are both integers, and a is positive. All right, let's try this. I want to move that 2x this way, so let's subtract it. I'm going to put it in the order that I'm looking for, so x first. Very close. I just need that 2x to be positive, so let's multiply everything by negative 1, and that just changes all the signs. There it is, standard form. Let's try the second example. Here we've got fractions, so you want to get rid of them by multiplying by a common multiple of 2 and 3. That would be 6, right? Think of it as multiplying everything by 6. I usually do this step mentally, but I want to write it out completely at least one time so you have an example to go back to. Now anything that has a fraction is going to reduce down to a whole number. So I have 6y equals, now let's do some reducing. I'm going to divide by 2, so what's left is 3 times 5. That's 15x, and that's where the fractions just melt away. Divide by 3 here, and I'm left with 2 times 1. Okay, that's not standard form yet, but we did get rid of the fractions. Now let's move the x term to the other side by subtraction. So I've got negative 15x plus 6y equals negative 2. And I want that x term to be positive, so let's multiply that by negative 1. Everything changes its sign. And there is standard form. Those four examples will help you change any of the linear equations into a form that's the most convenient for you.